cook some fish on the grill. Now I've been heating up the grill so it's really hot and the most important thing about grilling the fish is preparing the grill. And then I'm going to turn it down to low. I'm going to turn the middle one off and I'm going to turn the two side ones off. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is just coat the middle grill grates with a little bit of oil. So we'll just let that cool down a little bit and we'll just prepare the ingredients that are going to go onto the grill. And Nathan at McCall's picked out these wonderful grouper fillets and it's perfect for grilling with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper and some lemon juice. And then as well as grilling the fish, I thought it would be nice to grill a little bit of asparagus to go with it. This is just black pepper and then I also like to use the espalé, something that Michael Simarusti always uses on his fish, and since he's the best person at cooking fish that I know, I thought I would follow his lead. I'm just going to take the asparagus and put it in this neat little grilling basket on this side of the grill, which is now on medium-low. We're going to do skin side down, and just pop it on. Once it's on the grill, you don't want to move it. And this doesn't have direct heat under it anymore. We've heated them so that it gets a nice sear and everything, but we just want to leave it. So I'm going to close the lid and let that grill for a little bit. And um, it has to cook in order to, for the grill to then kind of release the fish, because the last thing we want is for it to stick. So whilst it's cooking, I'm just going to prepare two plates. And I love using these micro greens because not only does it elevate your dish and make it look like something fancy that you might get in a restaurant, but it also tastes really good. It's like mini salad. Okay, so the fish has been cooking for a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna literally see if it will release and turn it over. Look at that, perfectly seared on that side. And it's not stuck to the grill at all. It's just resting on them really nicely. And then these guys, just a little bit charred. Oh, it looks so good. I'm using this thermometer and the internal temperature should be about 145. And it, you can see it's cooked because it's kind of flaky and white. It's a little bit more salt. And pepper. And a lot of lemon juice. So once you've taken your fish off the grill, let it rest for a little bit and this maintains all the juices inside the fish so it doesn't dry out and it also carries on cooking for a tiny bit so you can remove it from the grill just moments before it's completely cooked. This is the most perfect supper as far as lean luxury.